Okay, so we are going to be opening and possibly sleeving if we open good things. The regular um, one collector booster box that we get of the sets for YouTube opening for our serotonin and dopamine fix. I hope. <laughs> I hope you're getting as much joy out of this or close to as I am. Gotta get my skizzers. Pop. Okay. Hello. Alright. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Some valuable cards in this set. Alright, may contain serialized card. Let's hope so. Those are pricey. And fun. Okay. So let's go. What we got? What we got? Assassin's Creed. Let me know in the comments which of these games you liked best. The original. An Ubisoft original. Sorry. <laughs> Ubisoft, Ubisoft, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But also, um, did you like the original Assassin's Creed or any of the iterations and then later on Brotherhood, etc.? Um, what was your favorite? All right, doesn't look like there's a box topper. I think I only played the original. Um, I don't think I played the other ones. So if you have recommendations, maybe I'll start playing that stuffs. So collector boosters, looks like they're also like the seven card booster or maybe not. How many cards in the pack? I wonder. We'll find out. We will find out. Seven cards in the regular, uh, Beyond Booster, I think it's called. Let's make sure we got a 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. All is well. Hopefully. Scared the cat. Or cat decided just to take off. Here we go. Might save one of these. That's kind of pretty. Some foil. Shiny. Sorry. Not foil, but shiny. All right. Treasure token. That's awesome. Okay. So I'm going to start on here. All right. So we have Shay Cormac. Shay Cormac. I need to replace this. All right. Looks like a sweet one. Permanence your opponent's control. Lose hexproof and destructible protection. Shroud and ward until end of turn. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a thing you could do. Um, A bounty counter. Oh, the bounty counters are back. This, those are, there have been other cards with bounty counters, so that's pretty sweet that we finally have uh, something like that. It's usually assassins that have like bounty counters uh, that they can put on things, not rogues. So this is an interesting, hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll see. Um, Palazzo Archers. Fantastic. Shoot the flying demon. All right, foily. Propaganda. Okay, that's a reprint. That's lovely. The artwork on that is is wonderful. So long as men retain free will, there can be no peace. That sounds like something from 1984. <laughs> War is peace. Arno Dorian, the alternate art. Death touchy. Um... Etched Foil Arba's Mirror. I'm so sorry if I mispronounce any of this. I do apologize. I am... I'm going to try to learn them all, but there, there are many, and... I don't know how much time I have for that, but, uh... These, these are not my native languages. So, alright. But we'll... I will do my best. I, I think it's worth learning all of them. Absolutely. Um... And I should dedicate the time to it. It's worth it. It's just... I don't know that I have it. All right. Forest. Very pretty. Shiny. Jacob Fry. Partner with Evie Fry. Jackdaw. 
vehicle. When it deals combat damage to a player, you may discard your hand. If you do draw a card for each artifact you control. Interesting. Could be somewhere in my pirate deck. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it goes in the pirate deck. It is a really pretty bit of art. So this is an extended art version. Desmond Miles. A foil. Alternate art. Menace. And yes. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this. I, I was I heard it once pronounced correctly. Um because it was in one of the cutscenes that someone posted a link to. Radonankadon. I something like that. And I am so sorry, I don't know actually how to do it. So uh, I apologize for getting it absolutely wrong. I will research that. I do want to get it right. So, and I think I can find that one pretty quickly. I think it's a major character here. So, um, so etched foil, very pretty. Um, human assassin and an assassin token with menace treasure. So that's sweet. Um, as long as it hasn't dealt damage yet, it has hexproof and can't be blocked. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, create a 1-1 black assassin creature token with menace. When you do, return target equipment card from your graveyard to the battlefield, then attach it to that token. Pretty sweet. Powerful card. And earlier today in the in the booster uh, packs, we or, or beyond packs, we opened a Brotherhood regalia that would go very well with that. Alright, so let me put that over there. Next. I have no idea whether I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> I wish I knew all languages. All languages are so cool. There's so many different amazing sounds, and some of which I can't even pronounce, like, because just because my, you know, uh, mouth and tongue and, and uh, aren't, aren't able to, uh, aren't used to making those noises, so. Those shapes in the inside, so, okay. So, become a mononymous. Um... And foil. Love it. Eagle Vision. This free running mechanic seems sweet. Hidden Foot Blade. Hiya! Alexios, Demos of Cosmos. Cool. Foil alternate art. Etched Foil Tax Collector. Sweet. Planes, that's epic. Is the Altair there? Altair. Okay, Altair. Um. Oh, Ivor, wolf kissed. That's sweet. When you mill that many cards for Saga, okay, okay all right. Or land card from among them onto the battlefield. Eh, okay, okay. Trample haste, seven six. I see. Um. Cover of Darkness. That used to be a really pricey card. So this is an extended art version of it. Um, it used to be really pricey. It was not reprinted for a very long time. It was originally printed, I think, in Onslaught, I want to say. Could be getting that wrong. Yeah, I could be getting that wrong, but I think it's Onslaught. And it was so good. Um, and it, it, it's, so, it's found a place in EDH, rather. Uh, it's so good in EDH. Um, yeah, can be a, a you know, a one turn win. Um, not a turn one win, but a one turn win, meaning like you just set up all your board and then just go rawr. So, uh, good card. I don't know what it's worth these days, but uh, used to be like 15. I don't know if, or, 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 or a little more, and I don't know if it's, uh, it's at that now, now that it's been reprinted. But it's a really cool uh, bit of art, very much a story told that I like that. I like that. Whoa. Uh, that's special. That's a textured foil Ivor wolf kissed. Which could, that's also, we just opened that too in a foil. <laughs> but this one's textured. That's pretty epic. I don't think this is one of the more valuable mythics. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's not, but, you know, it's 
really cool. <laughs> I wonder if I can make a deck around that. We'll see. I am going to sleeve that one right away just because it's kind of kind of neat. Um, and then etched foil sword of light and shadow. Oh, I did not know they were reprinting that. That is epic, and the artwork is cool. That artwork is so cool. Look at the shadow and the... Oh my gosh, that's neat. So, okay, I know that's worth a bit. So, there we go. All right, and an assassin and human rogue token. That, uh, that's definitely a choice of outfit. All right, cool. That's sweet. I'm going to put those two in sleeves for now. But those are some nice pickups. Obviously, I th that's that's just a really cool texture. Um, I don't know how much it's picking being picked up on the on the camera, but all of this is sort of raisin. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, sorry. And I like the little glittery bits at the bottom. All right. So that's a nice pack. That's a really nice pack. Happy about that. Okay, next one. All right. Ooh, a shapeshifter. To oh, with a almost a plague mask. Not quite, but well, maybe a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. Plague mask doctor thing. Okay. Smoke bomb. All right. All creatures have shroud. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice it. When you do target creature control. Oh, interesting. Fascinating. Okay, that's a cool card. Terminate, reprinted. Okay, all the kill spells are, I'm sure, like, the, main, the, the most, like, famous kill spells are all probably going to be printed here because it's an assassin set. Yeah. Anyway. Terminate foil. Assassin gauntlet. Cool. Adewale, Breaker of Chains. Uncommon. Uh, alternate art. Uh, Assassin Gauntlet Etched Foil. Oh, that's a really, really gorgeous mountain. Holy hell. I am going to find a way to put that in a deck somewhere. That is just gorgeous. Bayek of Siwa. 3-4 double strike, 5 mana as long as it's turn. Other historic creatures you control have double strike. You can disguise it. Oh! Cool. Okay. Alright. Other historic creatures. Sweet. Okay. Desynchronization. Cool artwork. Oh! Ezio. Auditor de Ferenz. Um... Adore, sorry, there's an E there. Okay. Um, foil, alternate art. That's pretty. I think that's probably worth a little bit. Um, nice. Assassin spells you cast have free running double black. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you can pay Wooberg. If that player has 10 or less life. When you do, that player loses. Fudge. Okay. That's the thing. Uh, oh. And Javi the Allfather. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. I'm going to put this in a sleeve. Nice. Okay. Uh, Javi the Old Father. Okay. Has indestructible. Let's get a little closer. Sorry. Uh, let's see if you can see a little bit better. Um, has indestructible as long as there are four or more historic cards in your graveyard. Sage Project, whenever it or another legendary creature you control dies, return target legendary creature card with lesser mana value from your grave to the battlefield tapped. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. I like it. So that's an etched foil of that. Assassin token and a shapeshifter, as we saw. That's really sweet. I like the, the art on that. I, I probably will put that in a Black Market Connections deck um, that I already have going. That's That's super sweet. Okay. Don't know what this is worth. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I think it's probably not worth like too much, but I, I bet it's probably worth at least three dollars in an etched foil like that. We'll see. 
All right, let's check this out. Let me know if you know in the comments. Whoa. Okay. Roshan, Hidden Magister. Adewale, Breaker of Chains. This time just a regular foil. There's Murder. Yep, okay. Dang, this artwork is spectacular. Ezio, Brash Novice. I have to look more closely at this artwork. A lot of that's a lot of rows going on there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I see. All right. <laughs> so you managed to get your shirt open. Anyway, um. All right, alternate art. Oh, monastery raid. Wait. No, free running. So this is a new card. Why do I know that? I feel like I know that name. Must have been a different M raid, probably from. Gate crash or something that I'm, I'm probably confusing with that. But anyway, that's cool. Free running. Uh, etched foil. Oh, wow. What? Whoa. I didn't know this was here. It was free printed. That is gorgeous in foil. Full art foil waterlogged grove. One of the uh, lands from Modern Horizons. That's sweet. Wow. Okay. That's that's beautiful. I'm sorry. It, that's just so pretty. I don't even know if it's worth that much, but I'm putting that in the thing. All right. That's so pretty. <laughs> the art is spectacular. And in foil, it's just nutty. I, I, this is not even doing it justice. I'm sorry. But yeah, there we are. Um, Crystal Skull. This looks amazing in foil. Um, I know that I think the regular is like a dollar fifty or something like that, but it's really pretty especially in foil, this artwork. And I like the card. I think it's fun for a bunch of my decks could actually use it, I think. Well, a couple, sorry, a couple. Oh God, rest in peace. Why did they reprint this card? This does not need reprint. Re I know it, like, it's, it is technically along with the theme of like killing things and blah, but like, you don't need to reprint this again. You've had like 15 versions in the past, whatever. Anyway, sorry. Well, there we are. Assassin's Trophy also been reprinted in a million things recently, but there we are. That at least is like so the so thematic that I think you can't avoid printing it. Assassin's Trophy uh, extended art foil. Uh, Bayek of Siwa again. Uh, this is the etched foil. An assassin and a mysterious creature. One of them could be cloaked. Uh, cloaked or cast with disguise. All right. That was interesting. Um, not as crazy a pack as that other one, but still a good one. Ooh, a horse. My kingdom for a horse. Phobos. 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 Yes. Okay, sorry. Um, Fall of the First Civilization. And a saga. That's cool. Um, that's really pretty in foil. I don't like giving opponents cards. Moving along. Uh, distract the guards. Create three one one white human rogue creature tokens. At three, four, free running, two. Okay. So it's better than a raise the alarm if you do the free running cost. Cost. And arguably for three mana, three bodies for three is not bad anyway. For hu Especially with humans with have a lot of synergies for having more bodies. That's not so bad. Um, tax Collector. Lydia Fry. Nice. Alternate art. Uh, etched Foil Become Anonymous. Oh, that's a gorgeous island. There we are. Oh, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny! Pirates! The, for my pirate deck! Yes. Perfect. Perfect. That's a fun one. All right. Spear of Leonidas. This is Sparta. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> uh, Bullrush Summon Revelation. Okay, cool. Uh, so extended art spear. Javi, the All-Father, again, but the alternate art foil this time. 
All right. The Animus. Beginning of your end step, exile up to one target legendary creature card from a graveyard with a memory counter on it. Any graveyard, okay, so that's important to know. So your next turn, target legendary creature you control becomes a copy of target creature card and exile with a memory counter on it. Activate only as a sorcery. It's still nice to be able to remove, you know, cards at, uh, um, cards from your opponent's graveyard. I mean, could be fun. So etched foil of that. Assassin and that Phobos. Okay. Hossie! Pretty Hoss. Okay. Moving along, we have another shapeshifter token there. Okay. Restart sequence. Cool art and foil. Uh, Origin of the Hidden Ones. Deals four damage to any target. That's fine for four. Create two black assassin creatures. Nice. Whenever you control assassin, whenever assassin you control attacks this turn, create a 1 1 black assassin creature token with menaces tapped and attacking. So you get to double them. Okay. As long as they can attack the next turn. Okay. Sweet. Not bad. Not a bad saga. Like, I might run that in my um, Tom Bombadil. I'm not sure. We'll see. Path to Exile being reprinted with everything. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Uh, Shay Cormac. Um, alternate art. Hidden Footblade. Etched foil. Forest. I love the way this, the, the path is like sun dappled. That's cool. Through the trees. Mjolnir. Storm Hammer. I don't think this one is worth that much, but uh, it's cool. Attach a target legendary creature you control. Whenever a cool creature attacks, tap target creature defending player controls and put a stun counter on it. The Mjolnir deals damage to each opponent equal to the number of tapped creature that... Oh, that's interesting. That that could do some, some work. I like that. Another Animus, but this time not foil, uh, but extended art. Whoa. Okay, a full art foil, sort of light and shadow. That's very pretty. Wow. Okay, let's put that in the sleeve. It's gonna be hard. Pay like I have a lot of sort of light and shadows from various different sets. It's gonna be hard to pick a pay favorite now of the artwork. It's pretty amazing. Okay, what's after that? Uh, oh, this one's worth money, I think. Wait, no, maybe it's not. This card seems good. I think this might be worth a little bit of money. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was listed this. Yeah, I think so. And it's the etched foil, uh, Basim Ibn uh, Ishak. But yeah, uh, Assassin Shapeshifter. Again, apologies for any mangling of any names. Um, I think I think this one's worth something. I'll go look it up in a second. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to see. The editor will put it on there, <laughs> but I don't know yet. <laughs> but I think I'm supposed to be excited about this one. Um, it looks like a great card. Whenever you cast a histor historic spell, draw a card. That's already just a great thing at, at two, two for two. Can't be blocked this turn. Triggers only once per turn, sure, but like it's still nice. When it deals damage, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, it gets bigger. Seems pretty decent, I think. Anyway, the only triggers once per turn, I think, would what's, what's stopping it from being outright busted, like broken, because they, they 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 had to put that on there. Otherwise, it would be down like Joyra, right? So yeah. Okay. And for two mana, you can't have Joyra. <laughs> okay. So, Shapeshifter, okay. Chain Assassination. Destroy so target creature. If another creature died this turn, draw a card. Four running. Hmm. I mean, okay. I mean, it's a four minute instant speed destroy target creature, which black does way better than that usually. The free running cost makes it much better, but the, if another, the morbid right here, if another creature died this turn, draw a card. That's, that's not bad. Um, but I think this, this is outclassed overall in terms of black hill spells. So, 
I mean, if you could guarantee the free running cost, maybe, but like, I think there's, it's just been outclassed. It doesn't necessarily deserve a space in the EDH. I could be wrong. Um, Phantom Blade. Cool. Bleeding Effect. Roshan, Hidden Magister, Alternate Art. Oh, land, cool. Um, etched Foil Brotherhood Headquarters. You can add colorless or add one minute of any color. Spend this to cast an assassin spell or a spell that has free running or to activate an ability of an assassin source. So when you build your assassin deck, this probably goes in it. <laughs> any other deck? Mm, maybe not. Uh, Swamp. Industrial. Uh, Layla Hassan. First strike, four mana, three, four. Finishes the battlefield and whenever one or more assassins you control deal combat damage to a play return target story. Oh, okay. All right. Some recursion there. In the form of an assassin. Abstergo Entertainment. Colorless filters for one mana of any color. You pay three and exile it. Turn up to one target historic card from your graveyard to your hand. Then exile all graveyards. That's, that's nice. I mean, Bajuka Bog is... Uh, restricted to black uh, color identities. So this is another way um, besides... There's one other colorless land that exiles graveyards. It's a desert, I think, that exiles all graveyards if you sacrifice it. But, you know, this does other things like filters and so on and so forth. So that's pretty sweet. It's an extended art, legendary land, sweet. Um, Aya of Alexandria. Alternate art. Menace lifelink. Foil. And Jacob Fry, etched foil, assassin, and shapeshifter. Nice. Okay. And moving along. Okay. Hunter's bow. Cool and foil. I like the perspective on this art too. All right. Uh, escape detection. Connaissance again. I'm like, I don't know if it's worth anything anymore. Like, it's been it's it's been reprinted in the secret lair, and it's been reprinted here. It was first in like, um, it, it was a quite quite pricey for a while because it hadn't been reprinted since like Exodus, I think. Um, but it's so much fun. You can do so many things in EDH with this. Um, if you get any benefit from, from first off, you can just you know attack without worrying. Like, if something if they have a, a favorable block, just one, you can remove that attacking creature and not lose it. Um, and all the other attacking creatures may maybe get in or have profitable attacks, etc. Um, and if you have a trigger from your um, attacking creature, right? So many commanders have triggers that occur when they attack, but you don't want to lose that creature to the blockers, then you use this. It enables so many shenanigans. And it also untaps. So if you have something that taps and you want to uh, untap it, you can just attack with it and without fear, because reconnaissance, it's a good card. Uh, Shaojun. Again, I'm so sorry if I'm mangling that. Foil alternate. Uh, oh, Coastal Piracy, of course, reprinted. That's been reprinted a million times now, too. Um, and then, um, but I mean, the art is cool. Uh, and it's an etched foil here. Sunbaked Canyon, another one of those lands. I am definitely sleeving that. That is so cool. They're so pretty in full art. Oh. <laughs> there are some swords. I see there are some swords. Okay, so this is Sword of Feast and Famine. Great card. And it is just a regular foil. Very pretty. There's another crystal skull. In this case, it is an extended art instead of the foil that we had before. Um... Again, I think it's the, like $1.50 or something when it's like this, but yeah, cool. The artwork's sweet. Oh, nice. A black market connections, foil extended art. This goes in like every black deck in ADH, in my opinion. It is so sick. It has best synergies in like certain ones, but this thing is so wonderful. It's one of my pet cards from the format. I even ran it in, in, in draft because it just, I think it's so good. And in cube, I love it too. Yeah, so good. 
All right. Caduceus. Staff of Hermes. Equipped creature has lifelink. As long as you have 30 or more life, equipped creature gets plus 5 plus 5 and has indestructible and prevent all damage that would be dealt to this creature. Okay, but it can still be destroyed. Um, and minus X minus X. Wait, no, it has indestructible. It can't be destroyed. It can get minus X minus X or exiled. Okay, so, all right. Um, as long as you have 30 or more life. And in EDH, that's pretty easy to do. So, that's, that's, that's a card. Three mana equipped double planes. Interesting. Okay. So, etch foil there. Another, yet another assassin token. We now have quite a few, which is good because if we build an assassin deck, we're going to want assassin tokens and a treasure token. Okay. So that goes there. That was a sweet pack. Some swords for us. Move that away. Sorry. Um, what do I want to open most? I mean, obviously a serialized card, but like, you know, I'm actually most... Ex Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm actually really excited about that. That's beautiful. I, I'm going to keep that token. <laughs> I'm going to put it in anything in my deck that does copy. Oh, my, my, my ring wraith deck. Oh, yeah, yeah. My nine for mortal men deck. If you can find it on Moxfield. Um, it is... It's like, yeah. This is going in that right away. It's so beautiful. And it works with the Lord of the Rings theme too, that illustration slightly. Like at least it's not uh it it, it it's it obviously it's sort of um uh less fantasy, but it's at least not um uh, modern day. <laughs> so okay. Uh Alexios, Deimos of Cosmos, uh Adresia. Sheep. Oh, the water glows really nice in the foil. Shay McCormack. Sorry, sorry. Shay Cormack again. I don't know why I was like McCormack. Uh, Adewale again. Uh, alternate art. Etched Twill Assassin Gauntlet again. That gorgeous mountain. Definitely going to find homes for that. Jackdaw again, but a different version this time. Just the foil. Pretty artwork. What must be done? Let the world burn, destroy all artifacts and creatures. Turn our historic permanent card from your griever to the battlefield with two additional plus one. Okay. All right. Choose one though. Okay. All right. Like crux of fate. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Full art, mythic foil, Cleopatra, exiled Pharaoh. Being your end step, put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to two other target legendary creatures. And then the betrayal is whenever a legendary creature with counters on it dies, draw a card for each counter on it, you lose two life. Nice. Okay, I think I want to put that in the sleeve because I might be tempted to use it. There is a slight pick on the top left corner, which I'm kind of sad about coming right out of the pack. Let me take a closer look at that. Oh, that is sad. We'll see. Maybe I can get it. I don't know if they were going to replace it for something like that. We'll see. But I'm going to preserve it in the state that it's in. What do we have after that? Yggdrasil, Rebirth Engine. Let's see. All right, what does that do? Hi, cat. In case you hear, he's he's rolling an actual magic 20-sided uh, spin-down counter around the room. So I apologize if you can hear that. <laughs> That's a cat for you. Okay. Yggdrasil. Um... When it enters the battlefield, exile all creature cards from your graveyard. Tap, exile the top three cards of your library. Four, tap, put a creature card exiled with Yggdrasil onto the battlefield under your control. It gains haste until end of turn. Activate only as a sorcery. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty good. I like that card. All right, I'm going to put it in a sleeve. So etched foil Yggdrasil. Assassin token and a copy. Earlier, we actually opened a full art foil Yggdrasil. Let me see if I can show that to you. Should be in this pile here. That was in the boosters from the... Yeah, the boosters from the bundle. It's really cool in foil. Anyway, okay. Next. 
All right, I'm excited to open some more stuffs. This is really cool. Okay, Palazzo Archers again. Um, Propaganda again. Propaganda is a good one to get, though. Become Anonymous. <laughs> Alexios. <laughs> this card likes us. Uh, alternate Art. Tax Collector Etched Foil again. Ooh, that's a cool swamp. That thing doesn't look human. Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, definitely definitely doesn't look human, but maybe. It's the head part that's like it's very strange to look at like little like yeah, anyway. Alright. Caduceus again. Staff of Hermes. Just a regular foil. Mjolnir, extended art. The Animus extended art foil this time. <laughs> and etched foil assassin's trophy. Not really what you want to be opening up, but for money, but like it's still cool. Um Assassin and Shapeshifter. Okay. Second to last pack here. What else we got? He's still enjoying that die, just running running around after it. Eagle Vision. Draw three cards, free running. Okay. Hidden Foot Blade. Smoke Bomb. Again. Arno Dorian. Uh, alternate art. Go for the Throat. Etched Foil. Cool Planes. That looks like... Uh... Wow. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Very cool. Planes. Uh, Sean and Rebecca. Agents. <laughs> All right. Foil. God damn. <laughs> uh, assassins are taking lots of trophies today. Um, maybe they should think about slowing down. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Sigurd, uh, Jarl of, or Jarl of, of Ravensthorpe. Jarl, I think it's Jarl, but, uh, I'm not sure. Boast. Life, there's a lot of Naya cool stuff here. All right. Excalibur, Sword of Eden. Plus X likes to cast where X is the total mana value of historic permanence you control. Creature creatures get plus 10 plus 0 and has vigilance. Equip legendary creature 2. Hmm. That could get into game real fast. Etched foil. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Assassin and mysterious creature. All right, what we got here? Final pack. Here we go. Let me know if this has been underwhelming, overwhelming, whelming. <laughs> Let's see what we say. There's a terminate. Um. Assassin's Gauntlet, Assassin Gauntlet, sorry. Uh, Roshan, Lydia Fry, alternate art. Etched Foil Become Anonymous. See, it's like, I don't know how big this set is, but like we're seeing all the same cards over and over and over again, just in different like printings sometimes. All right, Moonton. I don't think this set's very big. Uh, Crystal Skull. Here's the foil, the regular foil this time. Cover of Darkness again. I mean, at least it's a little bit of money, I think, still. Uh, extended Art. Caduceus. <laughs> I wonder if there are people who just get, like, the same cards literally every single pack. Uh, Caduceus, I mean, we're, we're, we're kind of like that. Uh, Staff of Hermes, this is the Extended Art Foil. And... Aveline de Grand Pre. Um, etched foil. Death touch 3-3 three, three for 4. Whenever a creature you control with death touch deals combat damage to a player, put that many plus ones on counters on that creature. Skies, black and a green. If only, like, I think that if the skies cost weren't black, you'd put it in a fin deck, right? But it's not. But yeah, so just a death touch deck sounds like fun. And then we have an assassin and a treasure token. I think I'm slightly underwhelmed overall but maybe i'm not valuing these cards as well as i should i i, I mean the thing is like a lot of the stuff the, the value that we opened i think was from like 
past sets. So like the swords, you know, we opened a lot of swords. So let's let's go through and see what we like. This is like a, an overview here of what we got. Um, but I was hoping for like, you know, some new cards that would be value or like interesting. Now, I do I do like the, you know, um, I leave like a, a bunch of the stuff like it, it is neat, but like Cover of Darkness is an older, powerful card. Probably did need a reprint. That's fine. Um, but getting like two of them in the same. I don't know. It's, it's a little bit sad. Um, so we've got some some me. <laughs> Yarl here, Excalibur, that's cool. Um, what else we got? Another Caduceus, Mjolnir, Animus, Assassin's Trophy. Um, Jackdaw, what must be done? Cleopatra's cool, that's that's cool. Um, as is Yggdrasil and So this sort of feast and famine is old, sun baked, old. Spy guess. Black black market connections. I do think needed a reprint, but again, it is an older. It's an old card. Uh, another Caduceus. We have Layla. This is a cool card. I'm kind of excited about the lands. Uh, Alexandria here. Aya. Jacob Fry. Mjolnir, another one. Animus, another one. I think this one's exciting. Here's another Sword of Light and Shadow. Um, I mean, they are value, so I'm like, I'm happy about that. I was really happy to get this. This is not value, I don't think, but it's so, so much fun for my deck. All Father is a sweet one. Another Animus. Waterlogged Grove, old. Uh, rest in peace is old. Ass another assassin's trophy, old. Bayek. Bayek, other version. Desynchronization. Uh, Javi the All Father. That's kind of cool. Is etched foil. Um, now the Ezio the foil. That's cool. Um, new card. New things to do. The Wolf Kissed. Cover of Darkness again, old. This is a sweet card. Pretty. I don't know if it's money, but it's fair. And then another sword. <laughs> All right. And Jacob Fry, other version. Jackta, other version. Desmond Miles, foil, uh, alternate. Awesome person. <laughs> I refuse to butcher the name until I learn it uh anymore <laughs> but yeah so it's just like yeah there's a lot of new cards here but there's a ton of of old cards that yeah they they might belong in the set but like it's kind of sad to see a lot of them i would, I would have preferred fewer of them and more of the new cards that are really sweet like i guess they just have to reprint sometimes and then you're just getting a lot of <laughs> anyway i just wanted to see more of the characters more of the story, more of the things represented. Oh, well. Okay. Well, it's cool. It's really cool. I hope you liked it. Um, uh, I hope you uh, let me know in the comments what, what you were hoping to open. So many crystal spy glasses. Three of them, I think. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let me know what you were hoping to open and whether I opened it. And then also, um, let me know the cool things that you did open. Um, I really want to celebrate with you if you opened, like, I imagine this version, like this, this cool, uh, version of the card for like Ezio has got to be pretty cray cray. Um, but now I kind of want to look up the, uh, kind of want to look up that, uh, other card. Hold on. It was the, uh, Basim. Yeah. It's like a $16 card. Well, wait, uh, the regular is a $16 card. That's cool. So I'm assuming that the etched foil is a little bit more, at least. So that's cool. <laughs> All right. Something like that. I mean, it might have gone down by the time this comes out. We'll see. Um, should be only a day or two. My uh, editor is super sweet about uh, turning these around so darn fast. Um, 
Bet props to editor. Casual suspect. I'll put this in a, in a sleeve too, because I can. All right. Anyway, I hope you had a blast. It was all really fun opening anyway. Um, and I'm hoping to play with these new cards. And I'll just buy singles for the ones that I didn't get that I really want to play with. So I don't recommend, recommend buying these hoping to get your money back. But let's see if we did. Let that editor show you. All right. Um, I hope you have the most wonderful time uh, doing whatever it is you are doing. And uh, I can't wait to see you again. Have a wonderful morning, noon, night, afternoon, tea, second breakfast, whatever time it is for you. And I will hope to see you again soon. Mwah.